This is a review of Bigfoot Quest for uh, July 27th, 2010. Really great show and a really great topic. Uh, the topic was uh, strange stick formations. What do they mean? And does Sasquatch make them? That was kind of the uh, the theme of the entire show, and it was the gist of the show, and it was really enjoyable and really entertaining. Um, there were no guests on the show. Um, there were some folks that called into the show, and uh, <clears throat> basically there were some pictures on uh, the Bigfoot Quest Weebly page where uh, they showed... Uh, a lot of these pictures were taken by Mike Killen of uh, strange rock and tree formations. And they were quite fascinating and quite interesting, I thought. Um, they showed um, branches overlaid over across each other and like teepee structures and arches, tree arches, things of that nature. Rock formations, they're very unusual. And um, there was also a fellow named Bipedalist, who also has a page of uh, strange formations, strange um, tree formations, and things of that nature. And uh, he put the link to his uh, page in the chat. It was really, really interesting to see these different, um, these different formations, and... Um, there were several callers, a fellow named, I think, Bill from New York called in, and uh, he talked about, he has several photos of um, some of these structures as well that he has found uh, in his area. Um, <coughs> and then I called in, and I, I mentioned that I had a photograph of, um, of one, of a structure that seemed to match one photo that was in uh, that was on the website that Mike took a photo that Mike Killen took while he was in the field of some sort of a uh, formation <clears throat> and I also talked about um, I talked quite a bit about the um, there, there was a good bit of discussion you know, with us about the uh, the formations and things like that about these tree formations and what they could possibly mean and possibility that Sasquatch might have made them and <coughs> neither Mike nor myself you know, were, were ready to say yes Sasquatch made them but they are certainly interesting and certainly very um, unusual that's for certain there was another fellow named Gordon that called in. He's from Ohio. He's actually, he, he, he claims to have photographs of, of Sasquatches near some of these structures. <clears throat> to date, he has not released those photographs. Doesn't mean they don't exist, it's just he hasn't released those photographs yet. So, um, all in all, it was a great show. I really enjoyed it, and... Um, I'm looking forward to the next Bigfoot Quest, which will be in a couple of weeks on the, uh, I believe, August 10th. August 10th will be the next Bigfoot Quest show. That will be at 9 Eastern 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash Bigfoot underscore quest. <clears throat> now, Thursday night, not tomorrow night, Thursday night will be HBM Crypto Corner, and the guest, the guest will be Mike Hall of Texla Research. It'll be at 8 Eastern, 7 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash hbms-crypto-corner. And then this Sunday on Night Callers, <clears throat> the guests will be, um, actually the guests, I should say, will be, um, will be Philip Spencer uh, from Kentucky. He was involved in the, um, Wild Man of Kentucky, Mystery of Panther Rock a documentary that was recently filmed and released by uh, Reality Entertainment, Reality Films. So that'll be at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash nightcallers. <clears throat> and then finally, next Monday on MNBRT Radio, Abe and Evie, Abe will be fresh, freshly back from his trip to... Uh, 
to Iowa. He'll be back just in time to welcome to MNBR Teen Radio the one and only Robert W. Morgan, the author of Soul Snatchers. <coughs> uh, I forget the subtitle of that one. But anyway, Soul Snatchers, a guy, I think it's A Quest for True Human Beings. I believe that's the, the subtitle. And also the Bigfoot Observer's Field Manual, which were both published by Pinewoods Press. Um, anyway, that website, or excuse me, that the website for that is StrangerThanStrange.com. You can actually find, you can go there to StrangerThanStrange.com and you can actually order both of Robert W. Morgan's books. Anyway, um, that show will be next Monday at 9 Eastern, 8 Central, www.blogtalkradio.com slash mnbrt. One more, one more programming note. Um, <clears throat> Thursday night at 10 Eastern, 9 Central will be Fact or Faked. And I don't know if they're going to examine any um, Sasquatch footage or not. They've been kind of teasing about showing the uh, the skunk ape footage uh, from uh, David uh, Sheely from about the year 2000, but they haven't shown it yet. They've been kind of teasing showing it lately, but they haven't shown it. So we'll just have to wait and see if they show it or not. That'll be at 10 Eastern, 9 Central on Sci-Fi Channel, and we do ask that you check your local listings for time and channel. And for all the blog talk shows, as always, we do encourage you to please tune in and support great research. <laughs>